Now, this is a video nobody asked for directly and you probably didn't expect from me, but I'm giving it to you anyway on a silver platter and I know this already even by just now sitting down and filming this. This is one of the best videos that I think I've ever done and the one of the best videos that you will ever watch from me. Besides all my content from this year because has been hitting if I do say so myself. What's up you guys, it's me Aliyah. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. And if you're not, I hope it gets better because you deserve it. Also, you look good. Did anybody tell you that? If not, there you go, just wanted you to know. You guys read the title, so I'm going to be filming a video all about my healthy lifestyle as a full-time college student and how I manage. So a lot of you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about my journey, my goals, how I manage it all, and I just decided to address everything and answer everything in today's video. So if you're gonna be here for the whole video, I'm gonna warn you right now, it's gonna be a long one because there's a lot of information about me in this video um you guys could probably tell by the amount of minutes that are attached to this video down below in the bottom corner <laughs> but if you're only here for certain parts good thing that I look out for you because there are timestamps down below the description box and on the video timeline that's kind of like in this general area it'll be broken up so you can see how big each section is now before we get any further into today's video I like to say that I am NOT a professional I'm just doing what works and what I found to be good for me so with all that being said guys let's go ahead and get into today's how I manage my healthy lifestyle as a full-time college student now the first thing that I want to talk about is health and fitness in general and like what it is to me. So health and fitness to me is just like how you maintain being healthy, whether it be working out, eating healthy. Fitness to me is any physical activity, whether it be going on a walk, playing with my dog for 10 minutes in the backyard. Health and fitness does not have to equate eating salads and going to the gym every day at 5 a.m. Health and fitness can simply be going on a walk with your dog every day for 10 minutes and treating yourself to a cute little parfait. That's health and fitness. <laughs> Since we're on the topic of what it is to me, I wanna talk about the first thing, which is my fitness goal. Now, if you guys have followed me for a while or you just look back at some of my old videos, I've always been more of a tiny person. I'm 18 now, about to be 19 in May, and I stay within the 95 pound to 105 pound weight range, and my weight usually fluctuates just depending on what I eat that day, and da 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 da. One of my main goals is to gain weight and muscle mass because I have a nice body shape, but I just found that I don't see it as proportional. I love my body, but it could be better and when I say it could be better it could be healthier and treated better than what it is now my goal ideal weight is like 120 pounds and for it to just be fleshed out in a more proportional way and then like a minimal just like not as like driven thing that I want to do with working out is getting my stamina endurance up just because you can use those in many ways if you're picking up what I'm putting down okay You guys are probably wondering how are you trying to get to these fitness goals well let me tell you I'm going to go ahead and talk about my diet so in order for me to gain weight I have to go on what they call a calorie surplus which is basically eating more calories than what you're giving out I basically just in order to keep count and make sure I'm on the right track I use this app called my plate and put in whatever I eat in there just so I can make sure I'm hitting that my personal goal is 2,000 calories a day that's my minimum now, I'm not gonna tell you right now sit up here and count and be like oh I eat 2,000 calories a day da -da -da. I, do I do not I try my best to get there some days I go over so Sometimes almost 3,000, sometimes I'll only do 1,000. Something that I will be talking about a lot in this video is I listen to my body and I never try to push myself to do something I or my body does not feel like doing in some of those days. That includes eating 2,000 calories. Overall health is way more important than meeting a daily goal. You know what I'm saying? I mentioned in a recent video of mine about me doing a video on meal prepping, which I recently started doing, which I'll be more than happy, happy, happy to do for you guys if you are interested. But I just want to list some of my go-to meals and foods that I usually eat when it comes to, um, you know, just kind of eating. Um, I also listed all this stuff out on my iPad. So if you see me looking back and forth, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, when it comes to my go-to foods, I'm gonna start with breakfast. I usually start with like a main item. So like maybe a pancake, a waffle, a bagel, anything like that. Just something with carbs in it. For sides, I like sausage, bacon, eggs, yogurt, anything like that, and just to go with it, and then some fruit that just has some sugar in it, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Super simple. Time breakfast is my favorite part of the day because I love breakfast foods. I'm a whore for breakfast foods. If I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna eat some breakfast foods. And also I like to say, I like to throw a protein shake, I would say about two to three times throughout my day. So I'll probably drink at least two a day, one in the morning, one at night, one as soon as I wake up, one before I ride to go to bed. So when it comes to lunch, I don't know if it's just me, but I have trouble like finding out what I wanna eat for lunch. It always stresses me out because when I hear lunch, I think turkey sandwich and cheese, but I don't ever wanna eat lunch. Like by the time I eat breakfast, my breakfast is so hearty sometimes, I don't wanna eat again until later that night. But when I do eat lunch, I like to eat probably about just, you know, same things I usually eat at dinner, so like, 
like noodles, pasta sides, like chicken, chicken nuggets, stuff like that. Lunch is hard. I don't know who said like, knock, knock, knock. Let's have breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. Like what is lunch? I feel like lunch food is like diet dinner food. Like does that make any sense? Because I feel like dinner food is too filling for lunch because you still have one more meal after that. But like, is that what brunch was made for? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. But when it comes to dinner, I love dinner. I hate cooking though. Okay guys, so for today's like portion of the video, I decided to show you like what I would typically make for a regular dinner or just like trying a new recipe and just kind of talk to you about what I would eat for dinner. On today's menu, I am literally just making some basic creamy lemon chicken. I got the recipe off this app called Tasty, which is another place where I get a lot of my recipes. But when it comes to just like dinner in general, I like to eat a lot of protein and carb filled things. So like chicken, steak, pasta, anything like that is like my go-to for dinner. And usually I just do really easy stuff like this lemon chicken which I literally found on an app. It's not hard to find at all. And um, yeah, that's usually just what I do for dinner. It's nothing too crazy. I'm still getting in the cooking realm. So if you have any like recipes that are good, leave them in the comments. But yeah, that's it. And that's pretty much what I eat throughout the day. Just very protein filled, carb filled meals. And if I feel like I don't have enough protein, that's what protein shakes are for. When it comes to meal prepping and just like making meals, I get most of my ideas and like recipes off Pinterest. If you wanna follow my Pinterest, you definitely can. I just be pinning random shit. Don't ask me what half my boards are because I can't even tell you. So since we talked about my diet, we talked about my fitness goals. Let's go ahead and get into what this video might've like, you know, drawn you guys to it, which is my routine. A lot of you guys ask me on my Instagram, like, what's the workout routine? How often do you work out? So I'm going to start with how often I work out because this gets kind of sticky. So I work out five to six times a week, Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, just depending, but it's mainly Monday through Friday. So five times two out of those five days, I work out at home, which is usually Tuesdays and Thursdays because I have class. Other three days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I usually go to the gym in the morning. So I usually go to the gym three days out of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, home workouts, Tuesday, Thursday. Right now, that is what it is. I recently just got a gym membership and I fell in love <laughs> with it. I don't know why. I just like being there. Like the first time I went, I just got my stuff set up, paid for my stuff. Uh, I brought in what I had. Like I went and looked at, you know, the locker room, the locker room. I have a Planet Fitness black card, so I have access to all the spa stuff, which I still haven't seen, which I probably should look at if I'm paying $23 a month for it. But anyway, that's a different story. So I just went and looked at the locker rooms. I didn't want to feel like I just drove to the gym for no reason. So I walked on the treadmill for like 10, 15, 20 minutes and that was pretty much it and I left. But the second time I went, I got a little, you know, excited. I had my little gym bag this time. I brought uh, just, you know, a jacket I could throw in my locker. I brought my lock, my key, things like that. Got some water. I started on the treadmill. Um, I started playing with some machines. I did the seated uh, press. The first time I used it, it was locked. Didn't know how to use it. I didn't know you had to hold the thing and like, you know? So I did that. I felt like I looked stupid, but then I realized nobody gives a damn about what you're doing. So then I went over to like the little ab area and started doing stuff like that. Um, I did like the little leg raises. Uh, I did the front leg raises, back leg raises, and just, you know, just kind of many workouts like that. And I walked around the whole gym just to see what other machines that my per like gym has, even though I can go to any gym in the country. <laughs> so little black part. Flex! You got your money. He got money. Get it all for him. So I just kind of walked around and after that I went to the locker room, got my stuff and headed home. I was there for like an hour. It wasn't anything too serious, but yeah, I'm starting to venture out more. When I left, I was like, I want to go back. <laughs> I just feel safe there. Like, I just feel like nobody really bothers me. Everybody's there to do their thing and everybody just kind of minds their business. Also, if you see me look to the side, I have my big camera on today, not my tiny vlog camera. <laughs> Come on, production. But anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, my workout schedule. I do have kind of like a set schedule slash routine days. So usually when I go to the gym, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I work lower body um, and just muscle groups. So like, this could be anything. <laughs> so like, when I go to the gym, I like to work uh, my lower body and arms and back because they have the machinery to do that and make it progress faster compared to what I have at home. I just find faster progression at the gym when it comes to making my muscles bigger because if I want to be bigger, I cannot like have the equipment that I need at home to make that happen, which is why I focus on it so much at the gym. Here's just a little breakdown. I'm gonna read the list just in case anybody wants to know. So on Mondays, leg slash lower body. Tuesdays, I usually work on my upper body and back. Usually I'm at home. Wednesdays, once again, lower body day, you know, back, things like that. Thursday, I like to do ab and core. I don't like to do too much at the gym when it comes to ab and core, just because I just feel like it's not needed and you can get like good ab and core workouts at home. You know what I'm saying? So once again, Friday, leg day, lower body day, just stuff like that. Now, do I always stick to this? Most of the time, yes, but do I switch it up sometimes just to keep it interesting? Also, yes, which is something you should learn about, keeping things interesting. And all aspects of your life, health and fitness, school, relationships, friendships, Let's talk about it, but not today. Maybe in a girl talk, we have to see. Do you guys wanna see it? Because I kinda wanna do it.
talked goals. We talked about what health and fitness is. We talked about my schedule. We talked about my diet. Let's talk about my routines because a lot of people ask me about this. This is probably one of the main reasons you're watching this video now. And a lot of people always ask me, what's the routine? What's the routine? Let me drop something that a lot of you might not like. I don't have a routine. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's time to go to the gym. So you guys may or may not have heard, well I'm pretty sure you just heard that. I do not have a specific workout routine, I'm just gonna show you what I've been doing at the gym, just you know, just to get me kind of started. So I warm up on the stairs and those things whoop my ass. And like I said before, uh, this is kind of targeted towards like my leg days, so when I go I mainly just focus on my legs and my arm muscles. So from the stairs I go to these uh, leg press machines, they're usually all over the place, but this is my favorite one because it's in a secluded area. And I do a few reps on both legs. So so yeah, and then I move on to single leg seated leg press just to, you know, get the muscle up on the individual legs. And then I do donkey kicks. I don't know what this exercise like machine is called, but all I know is that it's weighted donkey kicks. But I do a few reps on um, each of my legs. I will say that on my left leg, it's a little bit weaker than the right one. So I do find myself doing more reps on like most of these exercises um, for my left leg compared to my right leg. But yeah, I just kind of do these donkey kicks to keep my uh, blood flowing and my legs like activated and stuff and usually after this uh donkey kick machine what right near it is the hip abduction machine and i like to use both the ones that you push in and then the ones that you push out you can kind of tell from the video like what i'm talking about because there's two different kinds they target two different things and then of course after every time i use a machine i wipe it down because you know we're in a panoramic and stuff like that but after this i head on to these leg extensions i don't know if you guys can see it in the video but when i let my legs go down they shake so much because these literally kill my legs and after um this like I said before, usually when I go to the gym, I like to focus on my muscles, so like my arm. I do this. Uh, this is a back exercise just to make your back a little bit stronger. I do a few weighted exercises for like my upper body, but here's one another one of those. I'd like to do these single dumbbell rows where you basically just lift your arm up and just get that weight up. Right now, I only use 10 pound dumbbells because if I do anything other than that, I would literally lose an arm. So we're slowly gaining that muscle where I wanted to, but um, I just do about 30 on each arm with no like time in between each rep. So yeah i don't know the difference between a rep and a set and like yeah but and then i just moved to squat you can't have a butt day without squats hello and then i'll also like to mention that um usually when i do workouts i actually like like to sometimes just you know push myself to where i can't do it anymore and one of those things where i absolutely cannot do that is this leg curl machine now i usually aim for 30 total but sometimes since my legs are so dead from what i'm doing before i just simply can't do it um so when it comes to this i try to aim for minimum 30 but like it literally kills me like it's actually ridiculous but after this um i usually just head over until my next exercise which is just like a cool down thing which is another like set of squats i don't know where i saw this exercise but i saw it in a youtube video and i was like let me try this i personally didn't feel anything in this um but i still do the squats because squats are squats i look fucking ridiculous in this clip look like a grasshopper um and here's a clip of me grabbing some weights and forgetting what i was gonna do with them Yep. Genius. I don't even think I use them. Yeah. That's it. After this, I just like to stretch just to, you know, bring my body down. And that's pretty much it for what I do right now at the gym. And I'm about to follow up with my favorite at-home workouts, which actually got me to where my body is currently at. So, yeah. the videos that i consistently go back to it doesn't matter who the creator is i like the workout i like how it made me feel i can manage it and i can see myself growing from this workout okay so right now surrounding me are some of my favorite workout videos that i like to refer to constantly and just because they're some of my favorites i can see some differences in these workouts for me personally okay now since we're on the topic of youtube creators and who i watch for when y'all just saw my ipad turn on sorry so since we're talking about like routines and creators I like, I'm going to give you my top three YouTube, you know, just like fitness creators. I'm going to give you a little breakdown about them, okay? The first creator is Mad Fit. I refer to her a lot. She's definitely beginner friendly. She has a wide, wide, wide range of like workouts from like full body to certain like very specific parts. She has different types of workouts. She has like hit cardio. She even does like these little dance party ones that are so, so, so fun. I love doing those for like my full body days or for my bored. I just like doing those as well. On to my next one, Naomi Kong. 
If you don't know who Naomi Kong is, she's more of a smaller fitness YouTuber, but she has a lot of gym content. When I'm at the gym and I don't know what to do, I find myself going to like my watch later <laughs> videos that I have of her of the gym and like different workout ideas she has for gyms and just beginners and intermediate gym users. And then finally, uh, my third favorite is Annabelle Hayes. She does a lot of everything. She has a mix of at home and gym. She's a really good one as well. Uh, I feel a burn with her. But yeah, those are my top three uh, YouTube fitness and health creators. If you have any recommendations, comment them down below and like what kind of level and like what they do, just so you know. Leave it down below. You never know who you're helping. You never know who's going to watch this video. I had dead skin on my lips. Sorry. <laughs> So the next thing I want to talk about is motivation, consistency, and drive because a lot of people also ask me like what keeps you motivated? How do you stay consistent? What makes you want to do this? I'm going to start with kind of drive and what motivates me. I feel like that's like the easier thing to talk about because consistency, ha, I'm going to lecture y'all but it's fine. So when it comes to motivation and drive, what really just kind of makes me want to do this is the endless possibilities of where this can lead me to. I like what if. I like the what ifs where like what if I did this right now and I felt and looked like this at by this point. Like I like that. Like I like the possibilities of where this can get me. The positive possibilities, of course. There's this quote that I saw on TikTok that has forever changed the way that I have looked at things, not even just health and fitness, but health in general. Uh, let me read it for you. This isn't exactly what it was, but it's close enough, okay? This can either be day one or your look back and say one day. Where do you wanna stand, babe? Now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about consistency because I always get asked, well, how are you consistent, da, da 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 When I want to do it, I do it. When I don't want to do it, I don't. You guys are probably looking at me like, how the hell does this relate to consistency, girl? People aren't consistent with things they don't feel like doing. So if you enjoy doing something, automatically going to be consistent with it. Yeah, there are going to be some days that you're going to be miserable. You're going to feel like the worst person ever. That's all I have to say. That's how I stay consistent, because I like it. Not a Leah Simone video if the camera's not dying. <laughs> That's pretty much my consistency rant. I really don't have anything else to say about that. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about time management and just how I balance it all. As many of you may or may not know, I am a full-time student at UNC Charlotte. <laughs> Go 49ers. Ah. But I'm also a full-time content creator on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter personality. Like, I'm helping run a business, Mud Brothers Mafia, which I'm a part of, and just, you know, promoting sponsors. Like, it just it just piles up between the homework, work I have to do for my job, and just, you know, being a part of businesses. All of this, and then trying to sleep enough, it may seem like I never have time for this, but the thing is, like I just said, I balance all this because I want to do it. Yeah, college makes me want to jump off a cliff sometimes. Yeah, I feel like I don't get enough sleep sometimes. But it's all because I'm doing things I like to do. I like to be a part of MBM. I like to learn things in school. I like my job, which is why I post so much. And I also like to feel great when I know that I'm doing something good for myself. Me personally, the way I like to make time for it is I tend to find myself blocking out time for these things. So when I know I don't have school on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I find myself, you know, getting up at like 9.30, getting ready, putting on my cute little gym clothes, hence the gym at 10 and being home by like 12, getting myself a little something to eat after that. I like to make time for this stuff. I have a few more things to talk about in this video. And one of those things is the effects that this has had on on my emotional, mental, and physical, and just overall health. Yeah, my forehead's been shiny this whole video. Y'all ain't saying nothing. That is so rude. Y'all, we supposed to be family. I'm over here looking greasy as hell. You just didn't tell me? Jesus. <laughs> So when it comes to like my mental and emotional health, I find myself being more calm and less stressed out. I find myself being more at peace. It takes a lot for me to get worked up now. Like it's always taken a lot for me to get like worked up. Like that's just who I am. I don't give a damn. Like I don't give a fuck about anything that's going on. Over time, like I've just noticed that I've just become more calm and more at peace and like more happy with like where I'm at in my life. Physical and overall health, I've noticed some slight changes in my body itself, but I do see progress when it comes to physical looks and like attributes. So like I notice that I look healthier, like I look more like myself. I feel like I'm more like filled with color. I just look happier. Yeah, along with me just looking better, I've been sleeping so much better. Physical activity makes me sleep so much better. I'm not tired throughout the day anymore. I feel great. <laughs> I feel great I look great I seem great I am great <laughs> So I want to talk about like my monthly cost and like what it costs to like do what I do. I'm going to go over some of my monthly reoccurring fees. <laughs> monthly reoccurring cost for like what I do now is about $150 simply because my gym membership is $23 to $25 and then my groceries is about a $125 a month. And I was going to pay that much no matter what. So technically it's about $25. Now my one time optional cost which includes like equipment, clothing, Gymshark, where's my fucking sponsor? Stuff like that. I've spent so much money on fucking workout clothes. Do y'all want a Gymshark haul? I need to show y'all my addiction and how, how far it runs deep, okay? 
I get at home gym equipment, so like weights, I have like the little ball bell thing, resistance bands for the legs, resistance bands for the arms, and things like that. All optional. With all that being said, guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video and you want to see any more in-depth videos specifically on like my workouts, like I'm planning to do a week in my workout soon. Probably gonna do that gym shark haul sometime next week if you guys are interested. Well, I'm gonna do it regardless, whether you guys are interested or not. But I'm gonna be doing that next week. So let me know any other health and fitness things that you like to see, like a meal prep, you know, what I eat in a week, stuff like that. I'll be more than happy to do it. Most likely it's written down in my notes already for it to be done. But make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below and right on there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll be like this video there'll be a playlist more down below of just like sit down chitty chatty videos that you might like and more health and fitness content coming on the way make sure i follow my social medias includes my instagram twitter spotify tiktok and more will be linked down below in my description box also condense my description box so please take a look down there doesn't look so much better uh, make sure you turn those bell notifications on because uh youtube's a bitch and they don't send you guys notifications anymore and i want to make sure you guys that you never miss an upload and if your notifications don't work i post every tuesday and thursday so make sure you come back here every tuesday and thursday thursday uh eastern days so yeah with all that being said guys that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it and i can't see you guys on the next one stay cool bye guys